Hello everyone. Today we're going to make these Allen wrenches. These Allen wrenches are tools that you use all around the house. Uh, maybe when you buy Ikea furniture or work on your bike, these are what you need. You need them in all different sizes. This is also great practice on using the sweep tool. So here's how we're going to do it. First you're going to start with a 2D sketch. and I'm going to start on the XY plane and I'm going to take a line and I'm going to draw this just straight across, not really paying attention to dimensions. I'm going to grab an arch tool and I'm going to go to the end of that line that I just drew so a green dot pops up and I'm going to call this um, 0.25. Then I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to draw straight down. All right, and I hit escape. So let's grab the dimensions and let's start doing dimensioning. We are going to base everything off of that 0.25. So I'm going to draw my dimension. I'm going to hit equals, click on that. So that's D0 times 3. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to grab my other dimension. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to make this equal to, again, Click on 0.25 times 7. All right, one thing I need to do is hit this tangent. So I'm going to click on here and here, click on here and here, line those all up. I am fully dimensioned, and I'm going to click OK. All right, let's open up this origin right here and do the uh, YZ plane, right click on that, turn on the visibility, spin it around, start a new sketch, and grab a polygon. Polygons are found if you hit the down arrow at the bottom of the rectangle. And then I'm going to draw a polygon. Okay, so I did a six sided polygon. I'm going to click on a uh, constraint here and click on this to make sure that is nice and flat. I'm not sure that it did it. Okay, yeah, it did. And then I'm going to click on my dimension. Let's go across. So I'm going from this flat horizontal and this flat horizontal. Don't do point to point, please. And I'm going to make this equal to I got to find that 0.25. Don't type in 0.25, actually click it. And then hit zero. So now everything, all my dimensions, are based off of this dimension here. So when I hit the sweep tool, and I click on this one time as my profile, and then I click on the path that I want to select. There it goes. And I hit OK. There's my Allen wrench. So I'm done with the quarter inch Allen wrench. So I'm gonna hit file, I'm gonna hit save as. Make sure that you create a folder, call it Allen wrenches, and I'm gonna label this one 1-4, one because if you do backslashes, it won't save. So 1 fourth um, Allen wrench, and then your initials. All right. So the cool thing about this now is we want to adjust the size of it. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to hit the down arrow, and I'm going to double click on sketch one. And now I need to make a really small Allen wrench. So this one this is going to be 3 over 32. Now watch what happens. Everything shrinks down to that size even the diameter of it. So this is great. Like now, you can design your own tools like Allen wrenches and box end wrenches and um, and then you can 3D print them. So this is the same thing that the astronauts do in the International Space Station in case they ever lose an Allen wrench, but they're probably better with their tools than maybe myself. All right, file, save as. Uh, this one is 3 dash. 32 Allen wrench, and then your initials. All right, 
Please follow the rest of the directions and make the entire set of Allen wrenches that you'll need for this assignment. Thanks for watching.